live look at DKR Memorial Stadium this morning. We're just 30 days away, as we've been mentioning, from the start of Longhorn football season. So this morning, we decided to look into the history of how Texas' beloved mascot, Bevo, got his name. It's one of the best known stories for a Longhorn fan, how Bevo got his name. Well, the tale is this. Texas Aggie pranksters branded the Longhorn mascot with a 13 to zero, the score of a football game between A&M and Texas. Then, the story goes, Texas fans changed the 13 to a B and then they made the dash an E and added an O and all of a sudden, Bevo was the name. It sounds good, right? Well, it's not actually how it happened. It's not how the Longhorns mascot got his name. Texas and A&M did play a game in 1915, and the Aggies did win 13 to zero. People did brand the Longhorn 13 to zero a year later, but no one ever changed it to say Bevo. Bevo was first named Bevo by a journalist, actually. In 1916, Texas was playing A&M again, and the game was tied. At halftime, for the first time, a live Longhorn was brought onto the field. The Longhorns came back to win 21 to seven. The editor of a magazine simply stated, quote, his name is Bevo, long may he reign, end quote. There are a lot of stories surrounding how he came up with Bevo, even one about a non-alcoholic beer. Keep in mind now, this was the Prohibition era. It was simply called Pivo. So some say it was play on words, but this beer was almost non-existent at Texas at this point. Perhaps a more realistic possibility is that during this time, adding an O at the end of someone's name was popular and beef is a plural term for beef. So hear me out, beef becomes bevo. It's more believable than the alcoholic beer theory to many. While we're unsure about how the editor locked in on Bevo, one thing is for sure, it was not named because of a group of Texas A&M Haggies.